What appeared to be an average weekend in Istanbul quickly proved otherwise. From five continents, over 70 designers, popular bloggers, and the movers and shakers of the modest fashion scene met at Haydar Pasha train station. Swimwear, sportswear, bridal wear, ready to wear. Watching the myriad of designs walking down the runway, one wonders, when did modest fashion start gaining such momentum? And why? The need for modest dressing to go to the workplace, to formal events, out on the street for a casual day, and they have a real need to dress modestly. So an event like this tells them that their real needs are being acknowledged and served, and there is a place for them within the mainstream fashion world. Although we've seen mainstream brands like H&M, DKNY, and Dolce & Gabbana releasing collections targeting Muslim women, none of them have ever managed to fully cater to the needs of these women. Kerim Ture recognized this gap in the market and came up with the idea of launching an online site for women. Before Ture's bright idea, women were struggling to find decent attire to wear that were also in line with their religious beliefs. From the first day on, we said this is a pan-global affair, not limited to one country. And we always think about the world when we uh, started the Modanisa. The world's largest consumer of Muslim clothing is Turkey, spending over $24 billion in merchandise. It's followed by the Emirates at $18 billion, then comes Nigeria and Indonesia. Although the event is extremely popular, people argue whether it is appropriate for Muslim women to follow such fashion trends. The question arises, can Muslim women be passionate about their faith and be fashionable at the same time? We as a global community need to step back from the cultures that we live in and go back to the essence of hijab. What is hijab? What is it? I think it's important not to say that there's one way to wear hijab. There are myriad ways to wear hijab, so long as it's within those boundaries and we, we need to understand that, that there isn't just one way to wear hijab. Modest fashion continues to be vogue, and despite any controversy, the industry continues to attract people from different corners of the world while creating great business opportunities.